Hi, I'm Wade Tatangelo. Hi, I'm Jimmy Gertz. And we're here with Ticket TV to count down the top 10 events happening this weekend, starting with number 10. What do we got, Jimmy? We got Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons at Van Wazel. They're All coming right. back. Uh, their uh, initial show there was delayed because Valley got uh, sick, but they're back here now, and you'll be able to hear, you know, all the Four Seasons hits, Sherry, you know, Big Girls Don't Cry, all that right. stuff. All that high facetto, big hits. And they had a resurgence thanks to the big Broadway show. Right, Jersey Boys. That's uh, right. Because, uh, musical and movie, so. That's right, movie as well. Number nine, can't have a weekend in Sarasota Brain Team without some top notch blues acts. What do we got at number nine and then number eight as well? Uh, well, so number nine, we got Big Al and the Heavyweights at the Blue Rooster. Uh, this is a band with, you know, Al Loro. They're about to release their new album, which has Jason Reese on it. Oh, as that's well as, uh, Bob Margolin. Um, and then at the other big blues venue, Aces Live, we got Mike Zito, who's coming back just after the Blues Music Awards, where he was nominated twice. So. Uh, He's a great singer, songwriter, some so good. In Sarasota, and then Sarasota's act that is playing. Cool. We'll tell you. We'll let you tell. Him about oh, okay. Thank us. you very seven. much. Wade. Thank you. <laughs> uh, him for her is going to be playing a free show at Cafe in the Park, and so this is a Sarasota-based uh, alt folk duo, and they will be playing Glastonbury soon. You know, along name some small names like uh, Radiohead, <laughs> Foo Fighters, um, and if you miss them, they'll also be playing another no cover show at uh, Blue Rooster uh, later next week. And Cafe in the Park, if you're not familiar, it's right by Payne park they got great sandwiches they got craft beer it's a really a uh, cool place to see some music especially for free um and then number six uh napoleon dynamite a comedy classic from 2004 can't believe it's been that long inescapable at the time a little yeah, escapable now right. but being brought back brought back in mandeville beer garden and uh mandeville beer garden's got some of the best Bar food. I don't even know if that does it justice, but the fries are great. Yeah. Well, they're going to be doing tater tots. You know, the oh, tater tots going to be sure. great. Of course. And anyway, seeing Napoleon Dynamite knows why they're serving tater tots. Yeah. Uh, one of the great scenes from that. Number four. Get out your mystery mask, Jimmy. It's time for a masquerade ball mm -hmm. at the Francis. And so you're going to have. We're going to have playing. You're going to have Reverend Barry's Fantastic Soul playing there. You're going to have uh, you. Burlesque there. It's going to be a fun little shindig. So we got the uh, Fantastic Soul, and then we also have some uh, women from the Black Diamond Burlesque doing their, uh, doing their fun little... Mm -hmm. Uh, performance art. Now, before we get too far, we also forgot number five. You do this all the time, Wade. I do. I can't count. Uh, we I got uh, Bob's count. birthday bash at Fogartyville. Uh, Bob Dylan, you know, one of the great, uh, you know, American musicians of all time, and also recent Nobel Prize winner. Uh, his birthday is coming up next week. Right. So to celebrate, they're going to have some bands playing. Um, Ship of Fools. I mean, that's they're a Grateful Dead tribute band, but there's a lot of crossover between Dylan and. Yeah, the Dead. Back to Dylan in '87. Mm -hmm. And uh, some other uh, local bands playing. So that's should be fun. I'm wondering if, in reflection of Dylan's last four albums, if you include the triple album, the last five albums, if anybody's going to be doing any Frank Sinatra songs. Any covers of covers. <laughs> yeah, covers of covers. Anybody's going to be crooning uh, Moonlight in Vermont. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the uh, Mastery Ball, number four. <laughs> number three, um, Men Who Cook and Brew. Uh, Oslo Repertory Theater, mm -hmm. uh, one of uh, several great professional theaters in the area. This is their probably biggest fundraiser and it's at the Van Wazel oh uh, actually it's at Madison's Bayside in right. the Van Wazel so you get all these celebrity chefs including our own rum writer slash gun writer slash investigative reporter <laughs> Lee Williams he's going to be there uh, I think he's getting some help from Kerry Rasmussen in yeah. our marketing department so anyway they're going to be there and then there's going to be real chefs like Paul Madison <laughs> not that Lee's not a real chef he's going <laughs> to come behind me <laughs> and taser me uh, there's going to be some uh, you know real chefs there as well. It's a great event and it raises money for the Oslo's Theater Department which is also has a grad school program and whatnot. Number two so th all those events, most of those cost a little something, some have no charge. These next two completely free okay. starting with Dig the Beach mm -hmm. I mean it costs money if you want to play volleyball and this is a, what's cool about this tournament, it's amateurs and professionals all age groups, tournament goes all day Saturday, all day Sunday on our world famous yes, the Beach. Um, just go there and watch. Mm -hmm. um, go early if you want to get a parking spot. I highly recommend Uber, Lyft, 
it's it's uh, the best way to get out to the beach. <laughs> the yeah, these yeah. And then, um, so you've had these seafood and music festivals by the same mm-hmm. company, Paragon. They've done a really uh, obviously they've been successful because they keep <laughs> yeah. having them. Um, I attended one of them; it was great. The last one was in Venice. This one's gonna be on Saint Armand Circle, which mm-hmm. is gonna be interesting because you had so many restaurants right there. You're gonna have Jaw Movement, Kettle Fish, all the bands playing. I'm guessing the stage probably set up in that center grassy area, which has a name. I'm, uh, but I don't know it. Yeah, I call I, it the grassy area in the center of the circle. It's like the donut hole, uh, and that's where the music will probably be, and the food vendors, and of course you got all those great restaurants right there and shops. And once again, you might want to get transportation out there. <laughs> <laughs> there probably won't be much parking. And that's Saturday and Sunday. So there you go. It's hot, but go out and go have some fun. But if you want to beat the heat, uh, Jimmy did a great cover story on the twenty biggest movies of the summer. Twenty biggest movies of the summer, as well as a little side story if you're not into the big blockbusters as some of the smaller stuff going but uh, I think 40 films in total on those two lists. So. Are you going to go see the new Alien movie this weekend? Uh, yes I am. Let's hope it's better than Prometheus but uh, we'll see. Alright well there you heard it there. We hope it's better than Prometheus. <laughs> My ringing endorsement. <laughs> Alright everybody have a great weekend. Go have some fun.